Uh, well, I position myself where it's begin meant to start at the Palestinian entry to the old city at the Damascus Gate down there. And up there, West Jerusalem is where the marchers, um, the Jewish marchers are coming from. There are gates that the police have set up along this road to enable uh, the Jewish marchers to get there to keep the Palestinians separate. Keeping the two populations separate is the name of the game at events like this. It's a triumphalist march. It goes from the Damascus Gate down through the old city, through the uh, Muslim quarter of the old city to get to the Jewish holy site, the Western Wall. It's celebrating 55 years of uh, since Israel conquered East Jerusalem and joined it to West Jerusalem. That's not an internationally recognised reunification. It's certainly not one the Palestinians are happy about, and that's why the police have to separate these two populations so that this march can go ahead. Well, Irish, there was some unrest earlier in the day at the Al-Aqsa mosque compound. Can you just talk us through what happened there? Yes, I think we were seeing a low-key version of what we'd seen during Ramadan, which is Palestinian protesters, often ignited by uh, is Jewish Israelis coming up to the Al-Aqsa Mosque compound to visit. Um, so we saw the uh, Israeli police shutting one section of the mosque where they said that Palestinian youth were there throwing rocks uh, and firecrackers. They then kept Palestinian women away from the Jewish visitors. And then they actually took some of the Jewish visitors and pulled them out too, because they unfurled the flag, they lay down and prostrated, prostrated themselves, and they prayed. And that's forbidden under um, the status quo, the agreement uh, that, that dominates this area, that legislates this area. And that says that only Muslims are allowed to pray at the Al-Aqsa Mosque compound. Okay, we'll leave it there. Our